Good morning, and welcome to another conservation report for Saturday, June 8th. My name is Nolan Notch, Stearns NRCS's newest employee. I'm a recent graduate of the University of Minnesota Crookston, and we'll be working here in Stearns as a forester. As the flowers begin to bloom, birds begin to chirp, and the crisp, cold air turns into hot, humid days, our lives become busy trying to take full advantage of the short but wonderful Minnesota summer. The employees of the Stearns NRCS took a trip to Grand Rapids Wednesday and Thursday to join the Northeast Area employees in training. This training is essential for NRCS employees to be knowledgeable and up-to-date on the latest news and information. We use these trainings to help better our service to everyone who works with us and their conservation needs. For this week's updates on events, we will begin by talking about a great event to attend called Beer and Blooms. This event, hosted by the Sock River Watershed District, taking place on Tuesday, July 9th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., is a tour around Cold Spring that will present anything from perennial gardens to shoreline restoration. A caravan will take place starting at the school's DEF building and eventually end at the 3rd Street Brew House. At the 3rd th Street Brew House, there will be an open cash bar. Participants will receive handouts, brochures, and even have a chance to win prizes. For more information and how to register for the event, you can go to Sauk Rapids Watershed District website. A statement coming from the MNDNR states Governor Tim Walls has proclaimed June 2024 as Gray Outdoors Month. This is in hopes to encourage Minnesotans to get outside and enjoy nature. A new program called Get Out More has been put in place in hopes to provide experiences and outdoor opportunities for recreationists or even people that do not get outside much. MORE is an acronym that stands for Modernize Outdoor Recreation Experiences. Funding from this program will help provide upgrades to our recreational opportunities such as enhancing fisheries, repair of roads and trails, and provide equipment that can be utilized by the public. The DNR will host a free park day on Saturday, June 8th, which allows free entrance to all state parks as well as recreation areas. Along with this will be interpretive programs which are open to all visitors. Most of these programs are free, but some require pre-registration. For more information, please visit mndnr.gov forward slash free park days. This weekend, Saturday, June 8th through Sunday, June 9th, is the annual Take a Kid Fishing Weekend via the MNDNR. This means Minnesotans 16 or older who take a kid 15 or younger do not need a fishing license. It is also no registration riding weekend on motorized state and grant in aid trails. This means Minnesotans who on an all-terrain vehicle, ATVs, registered for private or agricultural use are allowed to ride public trails without having to pay a registration fee. More information and ATV trails and maps can be found on the MNDNR website. This has been another conservation report brought to you by the Stearns, SWCD, and NRCS. I am Nolan Notch, and thank you for, listen for listening to our weekly segment. I hope everyone has a great weekend.